Hi Jay, this is Michelle Free for Jazz Social Media and this is the internet marketing plan I made for you about a 10,000 foot view, helicopter view of what you need to do. I could talk about this all day but I'll try to keep this to a rough overview because I know you're busy. Okay, first thing we want to look at is that the, web the website is where we want people to go and to get there we want to use keyword rich URLs on-page SEO, which is search engine optimization, localized SEO, which I'll explain later, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, all the networks, brochures, which is hard copy stuff, maybe newsletters, and easy articles, which are a good way to get visitors. On your blog, we should have a blog on the website, and we should keep things like your featured property listings, upkeep advice on, on cleaning, um, keeping up the property, industry news and success stories, it's just some of the things, there's a lot of things you can put in a blog just from uh, industry newsletters and anything else you might have, it, we can really do, uh, have a lot of fun with that. Website suggestions, first I found your website, it was very easy to find and it's all here. Um, the only thing that, I, it's got clean lines, it, it looks good, it operates well. What I would say is that it's a little bit, it's probably a generation behind and that it's not interactive. Uh, you have some of the Twitter, Facebook stuff on it, but it, it needs to be a, an interactive site. So I'd suggest um, we do that over, add a blog, show Twitter feeds, Facebook feeds. And the other thing is you really need to make sure your contact information is up front, up front and personal right on the front page. Uh, when I say I'd like to redo it, this is, you know, these guys, so I thought I'd use them as an example in this video. Uh, we want to use all the available space we've got. There's a lot of space on, on the new screens especially, and we want to put anything interesting we can get. Videos, Twitter, uh, posts, articles. On the right there you can see the recent posts, that's the blog. And really make use of all the space we've got. Readability is more important than style. We want to make sure that people can really find and read everything. Uh, here's your um, your summary of who you are and what you do, and but it's really small. It's hard to read. There's some other things because of the format that everything's compressed in on, on your website. It makes it a little hard to read. We want to capture the visitor's information right away up front so that we can communicate with them. Right on the front page we should have an email opt-in so that we can grab their email and c communicate with them and add things like a Facebook like button where they'll like or uh, well, they'll get on our Facebook list right away and we can stay in touch with them. Uh, to make it more interactive we want to add follow buttons and share buttons. Follow buttons will actually add them to our list and share buttons they can share with their friends about what they're seeing. We want to make sure that everything is included and updated. This is the news on the site. You can see that the news hasn't been updated since 2007. Make sure all the links lead somewhere. I found a few links that were either not found, like the one there on the left, or on the right, you click through and there's nothing there. That's frustrating for visitors. Okay, URLs. URLs are the addresses that you type in, in on in your web browser to get to a web page and we want to make sure that 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 we have URLs that are really keyword rich. Front Range Commercial is a good URL but it doesn't say anything about what you do so you might want to consider some other URLs like Front Range Property Management or Colorado Springs Property Management, Colorado Property Management, Property Management, Colorado Springs, things like that that when people type them into Google they will find us right away. We want to use on-page search engine optimization. This is the old-fashioned SEO where we use keywords in descriptions, blogs, and images. We establish backlinks on other people's sites by going and leaving comments and on their sites and using SEO plugins. So if I update the, the site to WordPress then we can use a plugin that, that Google really likes and will help all of the websites, all of the search engines find us better. Localized SEO is very important. It's like reputation management. 
we, we want to type in things like um, Property Management Colorado Springs. Make sure that you're in all the listings like Super Pages, Dex Notes, Yellow Pages, Google Places, City Search. There's a bunch more. Make sure that you're in all those, you're listed in all those sites, that you're up to date, and that your reviews are positive. Um, you don't have very many reviews, but the reviews you do have are positive, which is a really good thing. Usually in something like project, property management, it's contentious, a contentious business, so you end up with negative reviews. So we don't have to work on getting rid of those negative reviews, but we want to make sure that we have more reviews. Set up a regular way to weekly add reviews to what you have. Uh, that way the search engines will see it and continue to list you. Here's an example Dex knows. We want to make sure on the right there that we have we make sure we add reviews to Dex knows. On the left, we want to have images and up, updated information about the company on each one of these local sites. Then we want to hook up the um, the social networks on each of these sites as well. Twitter is a very important marketing tool now. Um, it can be used in lots of different ways to get people to pay attention to what you're doing. I work with one um, one woman who works for a builder who sells to realtors and the first month we started with Twitter she went from selling like one house a month to ten. Now that's not usual but it's a really good result. She also used the other social networks but it seemed to come from Twitter. We want to make sure that we have a good Twitter profile with appealing graphics. We want to have the Twitter name uh, match Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube name. Update the Twitter profile like five to ten times daily. Follow others who could become clients or recommend us to clients. And make the Twitter profile um, easy to find by using keywords. In my search for a front range commercial, I did not find you. So I put front range commercial in the Twitter search and I could not find you. I'll show, this is what I found. I did find your Twitter account through your webpage though, so um, I found it and I have some suggestions here. First, we want to make sure that the information is complete and accurate. If you look there, the, uh, the website link is misspelled so they can't get to your website there. Um, FR Commercial, the, as an at, at FR Commercial, doesn't, it's not really a good address for Twitter because what is that? Um, uh, it doesn't describe who you are or what you do. Um, we, uh, if you look at the tweets, following and followers, you want to make sure that I have a whole, I have a whole Twitter presentation if you'd like to see it, but you want to follow people back, um, send them direct messages when they follow you, stay in touch with them, and you can see here that you have a hundred followers and you're only fo following 48, so that's not being kept up on a regular basis people can see that. And then if you look at the last time you tweeted was April 2nd and you want to really tweet every couple of hours to reach the maximum audience and people want to see that you're active that way. Build your Twitter standing. Um, this is just um, an example again from these guys Jeff and Nick. Uh, this is their Twitter background and as you can see here this is what you have right now and this is what they have. You can see the difference and and how it looks if you spend a little time on the graphics and making the colors and everything right. Um, it, a really attractive Twitter page will help people look at you as a professional. Uh, Facebook. You want to post two to three times a week. And here detailing the blogs, that the blog that we can add with your property listings, land listings, uh, news, any information you have. I want to create a landing or welcome page with offers and information that will keep people coming back. And we want to friend other people and companies that have common needs and goals so that uh, we're part of a network. In my Facebook search for Front Range Commercial, I found you right away, which is really good. Um, but if I did, if I looked for a property management, so if I was just a user looking for Colorado Springs property management. You didn't come up there, so we want to make sure that we fill your Facebook profile with words that will help people find you if they're searching and they don't know your name yet, but they know what you do. 
Okay, on your Facebook page, we need to expand the company info so people can find you. So if, if they know they need property management but in Colorado Springs, but they don't know who to hire, they'll find you. Uh, we need a cover picture to make the page more appealing. We need to increase the number of likes that you have. That's important because at 25 likes we can get a, a permanent address. And at 30 likes we can start getting Facebook insights which show us who's coming and what those people are like, which in turn if we want to get Facebook ads will help us target the right people. We want to post two to three times a week and again the last post was April 2nd so we want to keep that up. And on the tabs which are in the middle there on the right that have photos, likes, and map, we want to add a welcome page um, to the tabs and maybe a contact us page and a few other things like that. This is an example of um, Jeff and Nick's uh, Facebook page and you can see that it, well, I think it looks really good anyway. And we want to do something like that. Um, LinkedIn, I search for Front Range Commercial. There were a few people that, that work there that are listed. It's important to encourage, encourage the people who work at the company to have their own LinkedIn page to say good things about the company and then to have a company page as well. YouTube. Google loves YouTube. Uh, it's a great channel. People spend 80% of their time online watching videos. So we need to have a YouTube channel and then use those videos for our blog as well. Um, we can find videos online. We can take things from newscasts. We can make our own videos. We can have things like how to clean out a garbage disposal or you know, wash your windows or whatever you want to do for people who are doing property maintenance. This is um, the prestigious uh, YouTube page. You can see it can be very attractive and appealing and we can in turn can post those videos on Twitter, Facebook, and our blog and get the most from whatever we have. Brochures and newsletters. I have a printer who will print as many or as few brochures as you want. So if you want to go to a certain meeting with 10 people and you want a brochure to take with you, we can print 10. So um, I wanted you to know that I can also do hard copy work like that. The goal of this marketing plan is to bring in new clients, create a positive online presence, and maintain it. And it's really important to, to moderate and watch that online um, reputation and make sure that that stays good because it can go bad fast and you want someone watching it. So our summary. We want to update the website and create a website blog. Uh, consider extra, getting some extra URL addresses. Update and maintain local SEO pages and then do that for Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And then we want to connect it all together to look good. My social media package is, is the best way to go uh, for you, I think. It's a one-time cost of $400 to completely redo your website in the WordPress format, and establish a blog on it, and then set up the graphics that you, for instance, that you saw like I did for Prestige, for Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. And then monthly, it's $250 for me to maintain the website, uh, do all the blog updates, and when I say maintain the website, that's any changes you request, um, five to ten Twitter updates a day, and two to three per week Facebook posts. Um, YouTube posts and videos as we make them or find them and put them on the blog and the other sites as well. And as I said, what website updates as we need them. Um, just to compare my services to what a well-known local company charges, uh, one of my clients came to me after they weren't happy with what they'd made because their SEO wasn't doing what they wanted it to do. They had created a five-page website forum for $5,000 and then, as you can see here, these are their charges for keeping it up, which are between $80 and $120 an hour. Plus, they had a monthly hosting fee for their site. 
So because I'm charging by month instead of by hour, that means that you can ask me whatever you want during that month and I will do it and also I'll keep up all the networks and all of that is for $250 a month as compared to $120 an hour. Um, I think that my prices are very, very competitive. But we can talk about it if it's too much for you because I want all small businesses to be able to have the advantage of social media management. So just let me know if it's too much and we'll work with you on, on what we do. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation and get just get a hold of me if, if you're interested and we'll get going. Alright, take care. And thanks for consulting with Jazz Social Media.